So let's read Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 1. It says there, Therefore be imitators of God. Be imitators of God as beloved children. This is where we're going to take our first prayer point from. Be imitators of God as beloved children. It is important that you recognize that God is not only all-powerful, He is also love. First John 4, 7 and 8, you see that God is love, but not just love arbitrarily. He loves you. John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. So, we must start from this truth that God loves you. I want you to speak it to yourself. God loves me. And not just that God loves you, he knows you. So God loves you. God knows you. God doesn't just love you and know you. He has a plan for you. He doesn't just have a plan for you. He is willing to work with you in that plan. And one part of that plan is your spouse. God knows all about her. God knows all about him. So, be imitators of God here. Verse 1 of Ephesians chapter 5 is telling you that in love, be imitators of God. And verse 2 says, and walk in that love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Um, God loves you and God knows you and, and God has a plan for you. And so the first prayer point and all of the prayer points for today, you're going to be thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So the first thing I want you to do right now, take a minute to pray and say, Lord, I thank you. My heavenly father, I thank you because you love me. You know me. You know my weaknesses. You know my failures. And yet, you love me. Take a minute to do that. Just go ahead and say, thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for caring so much about me. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And, uh, and, and let that sink in. Feel that love. Feel that love. Let, let your heart Accept that God loves you. God knows you. God cares about you. And once you've prayed that prayer point, that's the first one I'm giving you for today. The next one is, is attached to it. It's, it's, it's uh, the same. It's on the same line. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for the sacrifice you have made for me and my wife on the cross. And if you are a woman and my husband on the cross, thank you for giving up your life for my salvation important so not only that god knows you and loves you jesus paid the utmost price for you and you notice that i'm not saying praying for you alone now i'm asking you to pray for your spouse your wife your husband pray for them and not only praying for them you're saying thank you to god on their behalf go ahead and say to the lord i thank you for the sacrifice that you have made I discovered that whenever we forget that our Lord Jesus Christ is has paid the price for our spouse, uh, that's when we are mean to them. That's when we look down on them because we assume that they are the, they are somebody there. They they hurt me and I have to hurt them. But when you see them not just as your spouse that has hurt you. You see them as a person that is precious to Jesus to the point that he paid the utmost price for them. It makes a difference. That's why that prayer point is so important. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the sacrifice that you have done for me and for my wife or for my husband. Number three, thank you, Lord, for the plans you have for us. Thank you, Lord, for the plans you have for us, for making us your children and your co-laborers thank you lord so important that's prayer number three you're thanking the lord not the first prayer point is thanking the lord for the love he has for you the second one you're thanking the lord for the sacrifice the the sacrifice that was made on the cross for you and the third one you're saying i thank you for making me into 
your child not just me and my wife also the plan you have for us i thank you now why do we add these prayer points every point every point i give to you is designed to do one thing to increase your confidence in god and in the work that he wants to do for you and through you a lot of people pray in fear not in confidence they pray the kind of prayer, Lord, please help me, help me. My marriage is in trouble. Um, I don't know what to do next. I really need your help. Can you please um, do something so that I don't continue to suffer? And that's, that's how they pray. And that's not the kind of prayer that gets miracles. That's fear-based prayer. The kind of prayer that gets you miracles are confidence-based prayer. Have faith in God. When you pray about anything, believe that you are received. So next prayer point was uh, the prayer point number four. Thank you for making me into a light in Christ Jesus. Prayer number four, withdrawing that from that scripture, verse seven, Ephesians chapter five, from verse seven. And we're going to be praying and going to say, Lord, thank you for making me into a light in, in, in Christ and making me a light in my marriage and making me a light to everyone that's around me. Thank you for making me a child of light because you are light you you can pray that right now as i say it and just repeat it after me but i want to encourage you to pray these points until they become your words until you believe them and you pray them so number five thank you because you are able and willing to do whatever it takes to make my spouse and i more fruitful in you you you're going to say my wife and i or my husband and i more fruitful in you thank you you're thanking god we're not asking for things yet we're just thanking god we're thanking god that's prayer number five thank you because you are able and you're willing god is not just able he is also willing to do a mighty work in you the next one prayer number six is thank you holy spirit for choosing to live in me a lot of believers do not know that they forget they forget that not only is god kind and loving and able to to do mighty things he's also willing to work it out in you so you're going to say thank you holy spirit for choosing to live in me Please pray this prayer over and over until it becomes your life. It becomes your style. It becomes what you do all the time. And verse number seven now, prayer number seven. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom and power that is available to me. Oh, my, my, my. A lot of times believers do not take advantage of what God has already given to us. There's wisdom. That you can tap into you want to thank god for that we're not yet tapping into that we'll do that when we come to strategy right now we're just praying things in and building up our confidence so that when it's time to 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 run we run with confidence we run with faith number eight now prayer number eight thank you lord for revealing your love to me and my spouse and my wife my my husband thank you lord so what are you doing here you're thanking god again for what he has revealed now you may not have access to that yet but as you thank god for what you have revealed to to what he has revealed to you and for your your wife or your husband he will give you confidence in that that's why we're, we're thanking god for that and verse number nine now so prayer number nine thank you lord for everything you have blessed me with now when you meditate on what god has done it builds your faith. When you meditate on what God has done, it builds your faith. So this first day, you see you are spending all the time giving thanks. Now I want you to take the time now to thank God for your health. Thank God for life. Thank God that you are part of this program. Thank God that you are able to even think and remember all the things that God has done for you. Uh, thank Him for provision. You have money. You are able to... Uh, pay for one thing or the other you have you're successful in your career you're successful in your business you're successful in your ministry yes this other part is not as you want it to be but you know what thank god for all that he has done all that he, he has given to you thank him that's prayer number nine 
and we're going to wrap it up uh, with the last prayer point thank you lord for the miracle you're already doing in my life now which means everything that you have been praying for the past few minutes you're thanking god and you're saying lord i even thank you because something is happening right now i want to say to you the fact that you're already part of this five days prayer the fact that you've joined and you're staying and you're praying something is already happening you will learn that god works way beyond our brain and our thoughts i will bring more scriptures to remind you of that but let those scriptures come up the ones you've read before let them come up as you go through these prayer points again i'm going to read them out very quickly now uh, just to remind you there are 10 of them dear lord thank you for loving me so much number two dear lord jesus thank you for the sacrifice you've made for me and my wife on the cross number three thank you lord for the plans you have for us thank you for making us into your children number four thank you for making me into a light in christ jesus number five thank you because you are able and willing to do whatever it takes to make my spouse and i more fruitful in you number six thank you holy spirit for choosing to live in me number seven thank you holy spirit for your wisdom and power that is available to me number eight thank you lord for revealing your love to me and my spouse number nine thank you lord for everything you have blessed me with number 10 thank you lord for the miracle you are already doing in my life right now don't stop here we've prayed them but i want you to take them and pray even more even more and even more until they become part of you until they become something that you do every time so thank you tomorrow we'll continue with prayer and confidence in god and what god has done the Lord bless you, increase you, strengthen you. And until we meet again, continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. Bye for now.